everyone. Uh, <clears throat> nice to see you again. So this is our third, uh, fourth time of lecture uh, for 2022 Pain Lecture Series, uh, first semester. Uh, today, uh, I would like to introduce our lecture. Uh, and before that, uh, uh, in between the lecture, today's lecture, if you have any questions or comments, please really write down in the chat and then we can have some time for this discussion. So for today's lecture, I'd like to introduce Dr. Professor Yun Sang Lee. Uh, Professor Lee, you will well know from previous workshops and lecture series. He is currently the professor in Department of Nuclear Medicine, Seoul National University Hospital and College of Medicine. He has dedicated to many research development and also a clinical application of radiopharmaceuticals. So today, Dr. Lee will deliver us a lecture regarding development of radiopharmaceuticals. So please welcome Dr. Yun Sang Lee. Okay, thank you very much for your introduction. I will share my slide first. And uh, good to see you again. Uh, I'm so happy to uh, deliver my uh, lecture to you. Uh, today, uh, we, uh, in, in this semester, we focus on uh, how can we uh, make a new radio pharmaceutical in uh, our department. And also you can adopt this method to your institute or your hospital by yourself. If you have a, a chemist uh, colleague in, in your department or institute. And this is the... Uh, uh, what, what we have done uh, almost uh, 20 years uh, uh, back, I, I uh, came in our hospital and I started to develop the new uh, radio pharmaceutical that at the time I focused on the technician and uranium compound. And then uh, I realized that the, that is the very uh, common routine for development of new radio pharmaceuticals. So I sum up today and I will show you how can we uh, 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 make or develop the new radio pharmaceuticals. So after this uh, lecture or uh, session, you can learn the, uh, everything of the uh, development of uh, new radio pharmaceuticals. So, uh, firstly, we have to think about that, uh, what is the target? What is the target? So uh, you have to dis discuss about this uh, uh, target finding. You have to discuss about the, with the, your colleague uh, in your uh, hospital or institute. And then if you select a uh, uh, tumor imaging agent or tumor therapeutic agent, you uh, have to uh, synthesize new material for the radio labeling. And then uh, after the synth synthesis, that chemical should be radio labeled. Uh, so after that, we can get the radio labeled proof. And then uh, sometimes we can do the in vitro experiment uh, with the uh, uh, proper cell line or uh, proteins, and we can get the information about the uh, affinity or any other uh, non-specific binding uh, 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 information. And after that, uh, animal experiment uh, will be done uh, the, uh, for uh, to uh, uh, evaluate the in vivo biodistribution bio and uh, that uh, compound can target the, uh, the, uh, properly in, in the target tissue. And then uh, sometimes we can get the uh, uh, imaging with the PET or SPECT 
uh, animal uh, uh, machine, and then uh, we can confirm that the, that is the uh, that has uh, efficacy or that can target our uh, focus target. And then we have to do the uh, several uh, specific uh, non-clinical trial that is related with the uh, uh, animal toxicity study, mainly that is the toxicity study. And also, if you want to submit uh, that compound for a clinical trial, then uh, you have to do the uh, uh, GLP institute, uh, GLP uh, uh, guided uh, uh, in, in vitro toxicity study. And then you can prepare the all the uh, these kinds of uh, uh, chemical information and also in vitro uh, or animal efficacy test result. And then you can sum up all the result and uh, you can apply that the new uh, drug uh, uh, investigational, investigational new drug application. And finally, you can get the uh, uh, approval from the government body. In case of Korea, uh, MFDS, that is earlier that is uh, called Korean FDA, or uh, in case of US, FDA can uh, uh, approve that uh, uh, these kinds of clinical trial. And after the phase one, two, three uh, clinical trial, and then uh, you can submit the NDA, new drug application uh, uh, form to the uh, government body. And then finally, uh, I think at least six months or one year uh, uh, will take, will be taken. And then you can get the approval from the government body. Uh, fortunately, uh, maybe last week we e e heard that the uh, uh, mutation label, the PSMA uh, 617, was approved by the uh, US FDA. And uh, sooner or later, you, you can uh, uh, get that uh, product from abroad. And that means the commercial. Commercialization uh, uh, is uh, uh, done by the uh, uh, company, and then uh, finally you could get the new radio pharmaceutical. So, in in the institute or uh, 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 hospital can do the only uh, these four phases: uh, the efficacy test in an animal study, and then uh, sometimes hospital by themselves or uh, normally a company is joined to uh, develop, develop the new radio pharmaceutical, then that company pay the clinical trial uh, budget. And then uh, that company will uh, produce and also uh, sell that uh, radio pharmaceutical in the public. So in between this phase and this phase, it, it will take um, uh, uh, lots of time. So uh, you have to consider that uh, it will take a long time to uh, develop the new radio pharmaceutical. But actually, I, I think a, a normal drug, such as a, a cancer uh, therapeutics or antibody drugs, will take uh, more than uh, 10 or 15 years. But uh, in case of radio pharmaceutical debut, that uh, uh, time is somewhat shorter than the original uh, drugs uh, because of the, uh, that, uh, uh, especially for a diagnostic uh, uh, imaging agent, uh, very short uh, time. In case of Korea, we, uh, uh, developed the uh, uh, FLT and FPCIT as an imaging agent. They said that it, it took uh, less than four years uh, total uh, clinical, including cl clinical trials. So, uh, so uh, radio, new radio pharm pharmaceutical development is still uh, uh, very hard. Uh, 
very hard to get the uh, uh, approval from the government body. But uh, so many uh, uh, radio chemists or radio uh, pharmaceutical uh, scientists, they uh, want to develop the new radio pharmaceutical. And especially for uh, uh, new material or new uh, chemical design, you, as, as I mentioned, that you have to select the target. Uh, in in uh, such, for example, brain receptor or cancer or any kinds of uh, amyloid beta plaque or tau abnormal tau protein like that, and also uh, uh, you have to uh, you should think that the future of that market. Uh, and because of for a research purpose, you can do an, anything, but uh, uh, for a, uh, uh, commercialization, you have to think about the future market of the, that uh, target. Uh, in, in nowadays, uh, cancer therapeutic, uh, 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 radio pharmaceutical therapeutics uh, for the cancer, uh, uh, for cancer, especially uh, uh, PSMA uh, target uh, prostate cancer therapy and also uh, neuroendocrine tumor therapies are uh, successful in, in the market. So uh, everyone search for a new target for cancer therapy. So uh, so many people want to look up the new uh, radio pharmaceutical now. And if you want to make a diagnostic imaging agent, you can select a gamma or positron uh, emitter as a, a radionuclide. And if you want to make a therapeutic uh, uh, radio pharmaceutical, you have to select a beta or alpha uh, emitters. And also uh, half-life also very important. So uh, uh, in, in case of uh, iodine-131, it it's half-life is eight days, around eight days, and also that uh, energy is somewhat uh, uh, weaker than the, any rotation or ethereum uh, 90 beta emitters. So uh, you have to uh, do the dosimetry, uh, uh, dosimetry study, and then uh, you have to uh, uh, calculate the maximum tolerating dose and then you can select uh, which uh, uh, radionuclide is better, uh, uh, better or best uh, for that uh, uh, therapeutic purpose of radio uh, pharmaceutical. And also nowadays, that uh, price also uh, radionuclide price of radionuclide also very important. So I think. Uh, uh, in case of rotation 177, because of the uh, huge uh, number of uh, clinical trials in, in the world. So that's why uh, uh, the that, uh, price is going uh, dramatically increased. So now I think uh, earlier we think that the less than uh, $10,000 for one treatment. Now I think uh, more than uh, uh, almost uh, $20,000 for uh, one uh, therapy, therapy. So uh, almost double up uh, in case of mutation 177. And also actinium 225 also uh, dramatically increased. Uh, that price is dramatically increased. And we think that uh, in, in, in Korea, we, we, we developed a new uh, research reactor for uh, uh, produce the rotation 177 and 18 to, to 5. But it will take a long time. So uh, price also very important for the, uh, for the uh, development of the radio pharmaceutical. And then we, we consider the chemistry of that uh, uh, compound uh, because of the, uh, after the radio labeling that in vivo stability or in vitro stability is very important for the, for, uh, uh, the 
radio pharmaceuticals. And also, uh, for, for in case of brain receptor imaging agent, we have to consider the molecular weight and also lipoplicity. And also, uh, sometimes we have to consider the uh, charge of the radio pharmaceutical. Uh, and then uh, molecular size. Sometimes we can use that the colloidal structure of radio pharmaceutical that can visualize that uh, uh, lymphatics or lymph node imaging. In, in this uh, slide, you can uh, compare that the, in case of small molecule, if the, uh, the size is uh, less than uh, 10 nanometer, and large molecules such as a protein or antibody or nanoparticle, it will uh, up, go up to the uh, 10 nanometers. And uh, colloid structure is the up to uh, 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 several or 10 uh, micrometer. And then in, in our uh, nuclear medicine, that radio pharmaceutical, we can use a small molecule, large molecule, and sometimes colloidal structures. Even in the uh, cell also labeled with the radio pharmaceutical. As you know that the technician MAA, uh, macro aggregated albumin can visualize it long. Uh, because of that size is more than uh, 10 to 90 uh, micrometer size that block the capillary of the lung. And then uh, you can see the which kinds of uh, 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 that lung uh, is healthy or not. And sulfur or tin colloid or antimony sulfur colloid can visualize the liver and a spleen and sometimes lymph. Uh, lymphatics. And you can see here in the after injection of the uh, on the foot or uh, hand and then uh, and not not intravenous, just a uh, uh, subcutaneous uh, injection of the radio pharmaceutical that colloidal structure. And then uh, you can see the lymphatics and sometimes we can visualize that the uh, sentinel lymph node of the uh, breast cancer patient. And these kinds of colloidal structure uh, uh, of the red, uh, that radio pharmaceutical uh, project that the colloidal structure, now uh, we can use the technician MAA and then uh, we can use a sulfur colloid or T colloid. And in this slide, you can compare that the uh, uh, colloid, that colloidal structure and the albumin uh, radio labeled albumin can penetrate the lymphatics, but a uh, small colloidal structure can uh, uh, pass through the blood flow, so that can uh, uh, enter into the blood uh, capillary and also lymphatic flow. But uh, in case of albumin, that size is uh, uh, six, uh, around the seven nanometer, but uh, that albumin cannot pass through the uh, blood capillary, but uh, in the lymphatic uh, capillary. So only a, a albumin can visualize that the, uh, not the blood pool, but in the uh, lymphatic flow. As you uh, know that the large colloidal structure cannot, uh, very little amount of uh, 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 the injected dose can pass through the lymphatic flow. So, uh, uh, you can see here, antimony sulfur colloid possess at the uh, uh, range of the three to 10 nanometer. So that can pass through the uh, blood pool and also uh, lymphatics. So in case of albumin, that uh, uh, only you can visualize that the uh, lymphatic uh, uh, pathway. And if you get that uh, colloidal structure, you have to uh, measure the uh, size or size distribution with the uh, TAM or uh, uh, DLS, that is a uh, 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 dynamic light scattering uh, machine that can 
visualize that uh, they can measure the uh, size or size distribution of that colloid. And uh, size exclusion, HPLC can uh, uh, show the, uh, what is the uh, molecular weight uh, of the uh, colloidal structures. And charge is also very important for, for, for the biodistribution or targeting ability, uh, especially neutral or positive or negative charge uh, with the pharmaceutical you can uh, produce. So especially for uh, a brain imaging agent that uh, uh, should not uh, possess the charge, even positive or negative. So neutral charge, uh, uh, chemical or compound can pass through the uh, blood brain barrier. It's in case of positive charge uh, compound, uh, that can, uh, if that can make uh, uh, complexes, then uh, they can uh, show the specific uh, by distribution, especially uh, technician MIBI possess that the uh, plus one charge. And negatively charged, that can that compound should uh, possess that the acid uh, group or uh, thionic acid group or aromatic OH uh, that uh, uh, can make a negatively charged one. So especially in our uh, nuclear medicine, we can use that as a kidney imaging agent uh, that uh, can easily pass through the uh, 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 glomerular filtration. So here you can see the DTPA is a, uh, and MAC3 is a uh, representative of the uh, negative charge uh, uh, radio pharmaceutical. Uh, so that can uh, pass through the uh, uh, kidney and then they goes to the uh, uh, bladder. Uh, as I mentioned that the myocardial imaging agent technician MIBI Suggest that the positively plus one charge, and also that uh, compound has a high uh, lipophilic uh, property, and then they push, pass through the uh, uh, cell uh, uh, membrane, and then that captured into the mitochondria, mitochondria, and then uh, they stayed in the myo uh, myocardium. So. Uh, positively charged and lipophilic compound can uh, 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 show the uh, uh, myocardial imaging. And how can we measure the uh, charge? You, simply, you can do the electrophoresis of the, with the uh, Wattman paper, and then you can put this uh, that radio pharmaceutical droplet droplet into the center of that. Uh, what my paper, and then uh, you can uh, put that uh, uh, paper strip into the what uh, uh, kinds of uh, upper, and then uh, you can uh, get the plus minus charge into the uh, bottom of that, uh, the, the both sides of the uh, that what uh, that paper, and then you can uh, get these kinds of uh, graph. So, uh, in case of our department, we, we can make a, a technician label the uh, positively charged uh, compound. And then, uh, as you know, the cathode means minus charge. So, it, uh, that compound can uh, uh, attract it in, into the uh, near to the uh, minus charge uh, uh, node. So simply you can uh, put the electrophoresis experiment, then you can measure the uh, charge of that compound. And hydrophobicity or hydrophilicity is a very important. Uh, so high hydrophobic or lipophilic compound can pass through the uh, BBB or sometimes high hydrophilic, uh, hydrophobic uh, compound can capture the liver uh, hepatocyte so uh, for uh, uh, blood half-life, for uh, uh, increase of blood half-life, you, you uh, uh, think about the 
the hydrophilicity or hydrophobicity of that compound. Especially for BBB penetration, uh, we select the local P uh, start from 0 0.5 to 2 uh, is a optimal for a BBB penetration. Uh, but uh, uh, logo P value uh, two is the uh, too high to uh, 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 if that compound ha has a, a logo value logo P value two, that compound can uh, capture the uh, hepatocyte. So you can see the high liver signal in in the animal uh, study. And a uh, hydrophilic compound can pass through the uh, kidney. Uh, earlier we, we discussed about the, the technician MAC3 and DTPA. So uh, if you want to make a kidney imaging agent, then you can select a, a negatively charged or uh, uh, any kinds of uh, hydrophilic compound. So uh, how can you measure the uh, hydrophilicity? You can uh, uh, simply do the O'Connell water distribution study. You can uh, get the separate funnel and then uh, you uh, put the O'Connell and water. Uh, that you can see the two faces in, in the, uh, that uh, separate funnel. And then you put uh, your radio phosphor into that uh, uh, solution and then mix to, uh, uh, gently. Then uh, you can measure the both water and octanol activity, but then you can uh, get the uh, 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 logo P value of uh, this kinds of compound. So uh, as you can see here, technetium MIBI possess that 1.2 uh, technetium compound we developed uh, 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 zero point something to uh, zero point something. So uh, as you expected that this compound ha has a, a lower uh, lipophilicity than the MIBI, so the, uh, you can expect that that uh, cell penetration uh, uh, cell penetration uh, power is lower than the uh, technician MIBI. So uh, this uh, logo p value can be calculated by the radioactivity in water and radioactivity in octanol. So we, could, we can call that is the octanol water distribution study. So you can calculate the logo P value with your, uh, with, uh, by your hand. And that is the, uh, we have to synthesize that the original uh, compound for the radio labeling. So uh, there are so many different types of uh, uh, synthesis method. Uh, normally organic synthesis is uh, very common for the uh, small molecule. And also uh, inorganic uh, synthesis, if that compound possesses that uh, uh, metal in, in the, uh, in the, uh, the skeleton. And sometimes purification from the natural product and uh, sometimes biochemical or biological uh, synthesis method. So any kinds of method, you can get the compound and then we can do the uh, radio label. So uh, uh, nowadays uh, we uh, uh, have uh, not so many uh, 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 person for, for this uh, uh, chemical synthesis. So uh, we, we order that compound to the uh, company in, in the domestic company in our uh, outer of our hospital. Then uh, sometimes we you can select that the uh, commercial uh, uh, precursor or uh, radio uh, uh, commercial precursor or chemical from the uh, from the uh, ABX or comp like just kinds of uh, synthesis company in, in your, your domestic uh, uh, country. So after getting that compound, we can do the radio labeling. So for a diagnostic purpose, you can select the F18 or C11 technetium gallium or uh, copper 64. 
for the therapeutics, you can select the iodine 131, venom, and ethylene, and mutation, and others. Uh, uh, so, after choosing uh, that uh, radio or nuclide, and then uh, you can do the radio labeling with the uh, adequate uh, chemistry. And after making that uh, radio labeled compound, then you have to do the uh, purification. Uh, for a uh, pure, to get the uh, pure product. And after that, we have to do the so many a QC protocol, quality control protocol. So you have to do, you have to check the radio uh, labeling efficiency and radio chemical purity, and also specific activity. Sometimes it, it is very important and also pH and chemical purity for, for of that uh, uh, radio pharmaceutical. Um, and also we consider that uh, uh, how can we get that uh, radionuclide? If you possess that uh, uh, reactor by yourself, I think, uh, I don't think so. Uh, but uh, cyclotron maybe. So uh, if you have a cyclotron, you can select uh, uh, several uh, uh, series of uh, 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 positron emitting uh, radionuclides such as a C11, F18, or N13. And um, reactor also, they we can produce uh, with the, uh, uh, for iodine 131 or mutation or actin 225. And after making that kinds of radionuclide, we can put the uh, uh, column on the column, then we can make a, a, a radionuclide generator. So uh, these uh, three types of uh, 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 production method, you can uh, select if you, uh, your availability. Uh, this this uh, line, black line is the uh, naturally stable isotope line. And normally, it, uh, upper layer that uh, radionuclide can be produced by the reactor and down layer we can get the cyclotron. Uh, uh, radionuclide from that reactor, that normally they uh, produce the uh, beta or uh, alpha and sometimes that can decay with the gamma uh, uh, ray. And normally that can be used for a therapeutic uh, purpose. And uh, from the reactor-based radio uh, nuclide, it's normally that possess that low specific activity. That means that uh, that can possess that uh, 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 different isotope, uh, such as uh, in case of uh, uh, C14, and then you can get the C uh, 13 or C12, and also uh, other uh, radionuclide, also they can uh, be possessed. But uh, in case of iodine 131, that iodine has a somewhat uh, 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 unique uh, feature that can be sublimed in the uh, uh, heating condition, then you can get the uh, uh, iodine crystal on the uh, glass wall, and uh, in case in and uh, this, uh, in spite of the reactor produced uh, radionuclide, normally possess the low specific activity, but iodine one thirty and uh, we could get the high specific uh, activity uh, for uh, uh, commercial product. Uh, in the uh, reactor, we could get the radionuclide from the uh, nuclear fuel, and then that is the we call the fission product. And sometimes we can make a target for the uh, uh, neutron uh, capture, and then that uh, neutron, after getting that neutron, then they can produce uh, some uh, different kinds of uh, uh, radionuclide. Sometimes NP or N-alpha reaction we can use. 
because of that uh, reactor can produce the neutron, uh, pr uh, uh, pretty amount of neutron. Uh, in cyclotron, we can get uh, uh, thallium or gallium 67 and iron 123, uh, indium 111, or CFNO. And normally, that kinds of radionuclide can be used for a diagnostic purpose and normally high specific activity. And also, uh, that sometimes positron and gamma emission. So, uh, for a production of the radionuclide, you have to consider that the uh, Q, Q is the uh, threshold energy. Uh, normally target material can be a, a collided by the proton. Uh, that proton kinetic energy should be a, a, a higher, uh, should be in, uh, that is enough higher high, then we can produce that uh, uh, very nuclide. In case of uh, FAT production, normally that uh, maximum uh, yield will be, uh, would be get, uh, gotten by the uh, 10 mega electron volt of the uh, proton uh, kinetic energy. So uh, normally we, we use the more than uh, 15 me mega electron volt of the uh, cyclotron we used, and then uh, we could get the F18 from the cyclotron. And uh, gen have you ever seen the inside of the generator? So that is a very simple structure, just a uh, uh, lead shield uh, outside of the lead shield, and then uh, the column. And sometimes that uh, can possess that the filter uh, of the outer line of the of that column. Uh, very simple structure. And then uh, the mother radionuclide is, is located here. And then uh, cell line or any kinds of uh, buffer can pass through the, this column. Then uh, finally, we could get the uh, extremely high leaf uh, pure uh, dot on radionuclide, such as gallium technician or any other uh, radionuclide. So this kinds of simple structure can uh, uh, be developed by the uh, uh, Brookhaven National Lab in, in US. So, so many different types of uh, uh, radionuclide generators such as in, that is including uh, Technation 99M, also Gallium 68 generators, only uh, 1950s and also 1970s. Uh, and also you can, uh, uh, you have to uh, uh, know that the, uh, after the technician uh, generation, first illusion of the technician and then after uh, uh, one day, we could get them almost 90% of uh, uh, radioactivity can be recovered in the in the uh, 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 radionuclide generator. That because of the four times of uh, half life, the daughter radionuclide half life, and then uh, that after four times of uh, uh, half life, then we could get um, more than ninety percent of the original uh, uh, activity of the first illusion. In case of gallium 68, that possesses the 68 minutes uh, half life. So uh, you can imagine that uh, after four hours, we, we could get the 90% of uh, uh, gallium activity from the uh, that gallium generator. Uh, in our hospital, we used the uh, uh, gallium uh, 68 generator from you know, 2001. And after uh, uh, the uh, 50 millikilo generator, we could get the uh, uh, ECOP jiggler. And we normally, we can use the more than 300 times of dilution uh, of that uh, generators. And then uh, that uh, price is less than uh, $10 per millikilo. So that is very cheap. But earlier, that is very cheap. But now 
that gallium generator price of the gallium generator is highly increased. So, uh, uh, in my memory, uh, that uh, 50 milliquiri uh, gallium generator purchased from Omnis, uh, that is a Russian uh, product. Uh, earlier, we could get uh, less than uh, twenty thousand dollar for one generator, but uh, Nowadays, uh, more than uh, hundred thousand dollars, five times uh, increased the price of the gallium generator. So that means that is uh, somewhat uh, expensive radionuclide for uh, uh, clinic. But uh, still, that is very cheap than the cheaper than the uh, therapeutic radionuclide. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to make a therapeutic radionuclide, you have to uh, select the alpha power beta uh, uh, emitter uh, emitters. And uh, if you want to make a diagnostic purpose, gamma and positron emitters. And also you have to understand that what is the specific activity. So, uh, so because of that, uh, uh, Radionuclide uh, possess that the half life, their uh, unique half life. So uh, that's why uh, after making the 100% of the uh, pure radio, uh, radionucleic pure radio pharmaceutical, after uh, one half life, just 50% uh, remain. And also after two half life passed, and then uh, one fourth. So uh, in case of C level compound, that uh, uh, half life is 20 minutes, and after uh, after two hours, that uh, uh, radioactivity should be this, like this. So, especially for a receptor imaging agent, you have to consider the uh, uh, synthesis time also very important, and synthesis and the purification time is very important. So. That's why uh, uh, that uh, chem radio radio pharmaceutical chemistry papers they uh, should uh, give the information of the whole production time after uh, after the bombardment of the uh, uh, F eighteen or C eleven production. So that you can see here that. How can we calculate the specific activity? So, uh, uh, carrier free uh, specific activity you can calculate uh, theoretically. Uh, so, F in case of F18, possess that 1.7 and uh, uh, something, and uh, carbon 11 possess a 9 point something uh, specific activity, curie per mole, minimal uh, specific activity. But practically, uh, the uh, that uh, carefully specific CFSA uh, uh, that is the down to the one uh, five five thousand. So in in this Excel sheet you can uh, make uh, uh, totally five thousand uh, uh, chamber, then I put the one uh, red color here. So uh, still uh, these types of radio pharmaceutical can visualize that the receptor imaging uh, in, in the brain. So uh, normally high specific activity means a uh, uh, thousand curie per millimeter uh, specific activity. Uh, now I, we can call that, we, could, we should call this is not the specific activity, molar activity. So if you use the specific activity, that millimole should change into the gram or milligram. So uh, for receptor uh, binding radio pharmaceutical, we have to consider the specific activity. Sometimes uh, not, not from the uh, brain imaging agent, but from the uh, cancer imaging agent, you, if you select the uh, 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 antigen on the uh, uh, on the cancer cell and then you have to consider consider the, the number of antigens 
So uh, specific activity, uh, sometimes low specific activity radio pharmaceutical cannot visualize that uh, 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 tumor cell or tumor tissue. So normally, in, in case of PSMA uh, uh, case, uh, very high abundance of the uh, 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 surface mem uh, membrane protein, so we can uh, not consider the specific activity of the PSMA11 or the PSMA1, uh, PSMA617. And after that, we have to do the radio label. So uh, in case of uh, mechanism uh, point of view, uh, F18, C11, and we, we, we can do the uh, SN2 reaction and gallium or other, uh, all the uh, metallic radionuclide, we have to do the coordination chemistry with the chelating agent. And iodine or bromine compound, uh, we can do the, we can use the electrophilic substitution reaction. So these types of uh, 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 mechanism, we, we should consider the, the structure of the uh, uh, precursor compound. Uh, if, especially for a technician radio labeling that uh, we can use the kit for formulation uh, from the company. And also we could get the technician generator from the company, then simply illusion of the technician uh, and then we can put that uh, technician into the technician solution into the uh, kit file. And then uh, sometimes we can make a gently shaking or sometimes we can hit uh, to, to label. And after that, we could do the uh, uh, purity check with the TLC. Uh, that is a very easy to uh, label because of uh, cold wire, cold kit was developed, uh, already uh, developed with the uh, 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 pharmaceutical chemist. And then uh, the, the, these kinds of low power, low power, uh, DTPA or uh, MAA or, uh, or uh, MAX3 kinds of uh, chelating agent inside of the cold wire. And also they should have a, a tin chloride or a, a buffer solution. And then we can get the, uh, this kinds of uh, cold kit for the radio labeling. After making that uh, radio pharmaceutical, we have to purify that. So or sometimes we can use the uh, simple cartridge method or sometimes we can use the uh, 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 HPLC purification method. So, in case of F18 compound, we can use the uh, uh, cartridge or uh, HPLC method, but uh, uh, in case of uh, gallium or uh, technical compound, we uh, uh, don't do the uh, purification of that compound because of uh, the kit and also uh, uh, generator combination uh, already set up the, all the uh, possible uh, byproduct or uh, they can remove the, the uh, possible uh, uh, production of the by, uh, byproduct or any, any kinds of impurities. So uh, simply you can check the, uh, 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 the uh, uh, purity of the uh, radio pharmaceutical is enough for uh, uh, clinical uses. Uh, here I list up the several different types of uh, chemistry of the carbon F18 or technetium or gallium. Here you can see the, I think, uh, uh, carbon can uh, make a cation and then also sometimes that can uh, uh, be used for a substrate for a nucleophilic uptake. And then uh, F18, they, uh, it can act as a, a nucleophile by uh, itself. And uh, sometimes we can increase the nucleophilicity of the uh, that F18 with the, uh, this uh, uh, phase transfer catalyst 
such as a cryptopix K222 or quaternary uh, ammonium salt. Uh, in the sea level labeling, we could we can start the sea level CO2, and then uh, we can make a sea level uh, methyl iodide, and sometimes we can make a uh, like C11 O O triflate. So uh, in case of acetate, C11 uh, acetic acid, uh, we can make a green net reaction. We can use the green net reaction for production of uh, acetic acid. Um, and that, as I mentioned, that the C11 O triflate can be uh, made by the uh, more than 200 uh, degrees Celsius of the uh, silver O triplate, and then we can make a C11 O triplate. Or well, iodide, uh, C11 iodide, and also uh, compare that this uh, C11 iodide, C11 O triplate can uh, be done, the C11 very labelly can be done in the room temperature. Uh, sometimes C11 metal iodide, we have to uh, increase the temperature, uh, reaction temperature. Uh, you can see here, how can we make a C11 methionine with uh, uh, using the base or NaOH as a base. And then we can uh, make a link opening reaction. We can, do, we can get the C11 methionine. And rocker pride, we can use the C11 O3 plate and then we can get uh, this kind of C11 labeled compound. For F18 labeling, we e, e, have a, some uh, uh, several strategies for uh, uh, radio labeling. So, first one is direct, and uh, the other one is the indirect method. Uh, in, in the direct method, nucleophilic and electrophilic chlorination can be done. Uh, as I mentioned, that the day a uh, cryptopix or TBA salt can uh, uh, increase the F18 uh, nucleophilicity of that F18. And then uh, you can see here uh, SN2 reaction that uh, after cleavaging of the old tubulate and then F18 labeled the FTG, we can see here. And uh, direct aromatic green uh, fluorination can be done. Uh, such as uh, that X possess that uh, highly uh, electro uh, that uh, highly electrophilic compound, and another electrophilic fluorination method using the F2 gas method. So earlier uh, that the first uh, FTG production can be done with uh, this uh, electrophilic fluorination method, and also that aromatic Trophilic fluorination can be uh, can be done, and sometimes after the making of the synto or prostatic group of the uh, F F8 labeling, then that compound can uh, 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 react with the uh, other, another compound. So so this is a two-step sy synthesis method. So sometimes we call that is a syn uh, uh, prosthetic or uh, symptoms. So uh, typical example is the uh, F18 benzaldehyde can be a, make uh, this kinds of method. So uh, uh, especially for a, a metallic compound, we have to use that chelating agent, chelating agent. So or normally that Chelating agent in in the uh, radio pharmaceutical, we uh, have to use we use the bifunctional chelating agent. So we call the B BFCA or BCA because of that uh, chelating agent can uh, tag the uh, bioactive molecule and then uh, that another part can uh, capture the radio metal or radio nuclide. So uh, BCA peptide conjugation method, here you can see the uh, uh, using active ester or NCS group or malimide or hydrazide or allo 
uh, alpha halo amide. So all the, these kinds of methods, so, uh, if you uh, have a, uh, some kinds of specific uh, 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 structure of the, that compound, then you can select uh, which one is better uh, choice for uh, uh, BCA peptide conjugation. Uh, and if you select the BCA, you have to uh, think about that uh, how uh, that compound can make a, a metal complex. So that is uh, uh, after making that com complex, and then the stability of the complex is, is important. And also uh, pH temperature or reaction time also very important. And sometimes stereochemistry uh, can uh, uh, can affect the uh, bio distribution of uh, that radio pharmaceutical. Uh, DTPA is a very common chelating agent that is the uh, used the most uh, 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 radio pharmaceutical uh, radio nuclide, but uh, Indium DTPA is very common. So uh, earlier, indium DTPA labeled the uh, uh, octeotide is a, uh, a common uh, imaging agent for uh, neuroendocrine tumors. And do after making DOTA, DTPA is uh, uh, decreased of, of the using of DTPA because of that uh, highly uh, stable uh, after the making complex with the gallium, yttrium, indium, uh, lutetium, any kinds of uh, copper 64. So uh, DOTA is a common uh, uh, chelating agent for uh, all, all kinds of uh, radionuclide, but uh, I think uh, lutetium and the yttrium would be a uh, 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 proper uh, combination with the DOTA, but Gallium and copper or indium will be the uh, 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 good uh, combination with the nota. And teta is the specific for a copper uh, uh, radio labeling, but uh, its stability is very unstable after the in vivo injection. So some kinds of breached compound was developed. Uh, as I mentioned that the nota is uh, prepare copper or gallium and indium. And in our department, we use uh, uh, nota for copper and gallium and indium labeling. Hyenic uh, is the hydrogenonicotinic acid uh, that uh, specially designed for uh, technician radio labeling. So here you can see the three amino group that can uh, chelate with the technology and other uh, uh, EDDA is a part of the uh, uh, three, uh, 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 three uh, coordination number and then these three coordination numbers. So uh, technology prefer the six coordination number. Uh, multidentate chelator, that is the uh, chelator means the multidentate. So uh, they, uh, especially uh, uh, MAC3 or any other uh, uh, technician radio labeling compound can uh, possess that the multidentate chelator. Uh, in technician chemistry, technician can possess that uh, uh, various uh, 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 oxidation state start from the uh, plus seven to plus uh, minus one. Normally, a, uh, we can use the uh, plus five and plus one for the radio pharmaceutical. Uh, uh, Max three, uh, uh, in the, uh, the plus one charged uh, technetium, and then uh, they can possess the minus one or uh, neutral uh, uh, radio pharmaceutical uh, structures. And uh, this metal can Suggest that the only ligand or dioxide form, uh, we can get the uh, positively charged technician compound. 
And gallium is a very specific uh, radio pharma, radio nuclide for, uh, uh, for uh, diagnostic imaging because of that gallium can be produced by the generator and also uh, that half-life is uh, uh, one hour half-life. Uh, so sometimes that is somewhat short uh, than the, uh, we, if you want to look up the biological process. But still uh, that gallium generator can be used uh, up to six months. So, uh, and, and also uh, we can use gallium 68 for uh, 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 three times or four times per, uh, uh, per day. So uh, still that is a very cheap uh, uh, radionuclide. So, here you can see the gallium nota complex structure that is a highly stable, even in a uh, H highly concentrated HCl, HCl solution, that, it, that com complex is very stable. And also we confirm that uh, copper, copper and uh, also indium uh, can uh, make a highly stable complex with the nota. And, and after the lab radio labeling, we could do the uh, in vitro experiment for uh, efficacy test. And we can uh, uh, do the stability test with the aqueous solution or human serum uh, in, in, inside of the human serum. And also uh, charge determination with the ion exchange column or electrophoresis. And also we can check the uh, repopulist with the octanal uh, distribution study, and we can get the log p value of that uh, specific radio pharmaceutical. And then we can do the binding assay with the uh, specific cell line or protein. So uh, we can get the KD or KI value of that radio pharmaceutical. And uh, in vivo stability is important, but uh, we can do the in vitro metabolism study. So uh, we can mix with the uh, serum and the uh, uh, radio pharmaceutical and sometimes the brain or liver tissue. And then we can check the simply TLC study and then we can uh, uh, evaluate the in vitro uh, uh, stability of that radio pharmaceutical. And After that, we can do the biodistribution study with the uh, normal or um, animal model. And then we could get the information of the, uh, how much amount of the radioactivity in the, each organs. And then we can uh, uh, image that, imagine that the, uh, how much amount of that radioactivity or radiopharmaceutical uh, quantity is in the uh, target tissue. So after getting that information of the biodistribution, and then we could calculate the uh, pharmacokinetics or pharmacodynamics of that uh, compound. And imaging study, we, we can with the uh, uh, PET spectra or uh, C CT or MRI, and then, um, and then we can calculate the uh, PK or PD in, in that uh, uh, imaging study. And autoradiography, we can do the uh, ex vivo study. Yeah, so so uh, sometimes ex vivo or in vitro. So after injection of that radio function in the normal uh, mouse or animal model, and then we excise that, uh, uh, that organ, and then we can uh, 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 that the imaging, we can touch the imaging plate and then we can read that uh, image with uh, uh, some specific machine. So uh, auto radiography earlier we can, we can uh, use uh, properly for, uh, uh, for uh, brain imaging agent. So each compound that uh, the biodistribution in the brain, we can get the image of the, uh, uh, from the autoradiography. And 
binding potential, we, we can calculate from the image, these kinds of images. So uh, binding potential is very important for, especially for uh, uh, green imaging agents. And after that, we have to uh, 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 evaluate the efficacy of the radio pharmaceutical, especially for uh, diagnostic purpose, we uh, should calculate that how much amount of radioactivity into the uh, target tissue. But the therapeutic radio, uh, radio pharmaceutical, you should do the uh, uh, efficacy test with the uh, proper animal model. And then you uh, uh, can compare that the conventional uh, therapeutics, uh, conventional uh, uh, compared with the therap uh, conventional therapeutics. And also we could do the in vivo metabolism study. So after injection of the radio pharmaceutical, and then uh, you can get the urine or feces from that animal then, uh, or blood, and then you can do the HPLC study, and then uh, uh, how much amount of uh, radio pharmaceutical maintain the uh, structure of um, uh, intact structure. And uh, uh, after getting that kinds of uh, e efficacy or stability uh, information, then we can do the uh, preclinical uh, test or non-clinical test. Or especially, uh, normally that is the uh, toxicity study. And then for diagnostic uh, or radio pharmaceutical, uh, we can do only acute toxicity, uh, one, one time injection acute toxicity study. And uh, that is enough for uh, IND uh, application. So this is the last slide. So. Uh, if you want to make, a, uh, if you want to develop new radio pharmaceutical, you have to uh, get all the facility. No, just uh, if you have a have a bench, and also you, if you have a TLC scanner, and then you can purchase compound, and also you can purchase uh, radionuclide from the outside of your institute or uh, hospital. And then you can make simply mixing with the, that uh, precursor and uh, uh, radionuclide, and then you can make a very pharmaceutical. So uh, in our lab, also only uh, earlier we only possessed that the cyclotron lab bench, and after a few years we could get the uh, NMR, and after ten years we could get the H uh, mass. And uh, after 10 years, we could get the uh, uh, automatic synthesis module. And uh, as I remember, our animal uh, pet uh, was installed the year of 2006. So uh, 15 years later, after uh, my coming. So, so still almost 15, 15 years, I, uh, uh, focused on uh, uh, synthesis and also uh, radio labeling. And then after that, uh, we could do the biodistribution without imaging machine. We can do the biodistribution or auto radiographic study. So uh, in my, uh, my point is that uh, you can start with the only, with the bench. So uh, starting is very important. So. Uh, uh, this is the end of my presentation. So uh, if you have any question or comment, please uh, uh, leave the text on the text box, chat box. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>